when we go shopping, <laughs> my wife buys the North American fruit. I buy the tropical fruit for obvious reasons. I, for instance, thought that strawberries grew on trees. Didn't know that. You see? She probably thought bananas grew on a vine. I don't know. <laughs> I've seen, I've seen, I've seen films where a, a coconut would fall out of a tree that's already husked. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen that? Uh, growing up in the Caribbean, way down in South America, I was from Guyana. We only had, we had, we had apples. Apples only came at Christmas time. And apples were always blood red. The only type of apples were blood red, like this one. And it was reinforced by a film I saw called Snow White and Seven Dwarves. Remember? A blood red apple, boy. red to the black, shining. And to my mind, apples were red. No other colors. Apple can be anything else. Sky blue, apple red. Different. So when I first read it, I go down to the must buy an apple. Oh God, this is June. June, buy apple. So I run in and I pick up a red. The wife said, no, 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 no. That's not the sweetest. These sweeter. What is it called, Granny Smith? I say, but in the Caribbean, we don't eat, eat green fruit. <laughs> I say, we'd be that, we wait till it's ripe. Or we chop it up and make chutney with salt and <laughs> stuff. Like that. I didn't even know that. Americans like things perfect. A banana has to be perfect, no blemishes at all, and must be slightly green on top. No, it must be perfect. And you can tell an American eating a, a banana, even if you're not looking. Because when they peel it, you hear <laughs> right across the room. And if you just a kind of mealy meal. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Sticky, sticky, huh? Mm hmm. Mm. Awful. We in the Caribbean know better. You have to wait till it we call it speckled. <laughs> Go to some shops in America and they will tell you we don't sell rotten fruit. <laughs> <laughs> when the speckled, that's when all the fructose and sucrose and all them banana crows and things. Uh -huh. mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm joking? Here's the, here's the best one. I decide to buy avocados. Well, I go and I pick up an avocado. And the way I test an avocado is I shake it here if it rattles. If it rattles just right to, to take in two days, it'll be great. So you can imagine me looking like how I look after 9-11 in a shop listening to fruit. <laughs> Americans ducking, diving, <laughs> walking away. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but the coup de gras or the mowing of the lawn, as we say, is mangoes. My wife's sister, who is nearly 50 years old in Michigan, never needed a mango in her life. But I, a little fourth world person, eating apples down in South America grapes. Never had a mango. So I was there in the supermarket looking for mango. <laughs> and an American comes up to me and says, excuse me, sir, is that a mango? How do you eat it? <laughs> she asking me how I eat a mango. <laughs> I used to have two mango trees in my yard in Guyana. Three in the next door, two in the next. Seven mango, <laughs> seven mango trees in three yards. Yeah. So seven different types. During the August holidays, eating 25 mangoes a day. No matter what color we start with, it, some of it's black, some brown, some white, yellow. At the end of the August holidays, everybody got a yellow tinge. <laughs> the fingernail yellow, eyeball yellow, <laughs> that toenail yellow. And our mother used to deal with it this way. School opening Monday, Friday night, Santa Paul's. It's a light cleaner, very light. It's a, when it's, it's, a, it's like a tea, it's a pale yellow. But that's not all. That's only preparing you. Because Saturday morning is castor oil. Oh. Now, who don't know castor All you young people under 60 don't know castor oil. It's the nastiest taste. It tastes like Exxon gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> and my, <laughs> how it used to work was this. It wasn't poisonous. It was just terrible tasting and smell. When germs and bacteria smell and hear it coming down, Cast her heart. <laughs> Down they go, run him, escape. <laughs> Every man gone. <laughs> <laughs>
wusste, dass ich mit Suicide. <lacht> so wie my mother then just try to soften the taste. I put in ginger ale, which is yellow too. Mix ginger ale in it. And you stir it. <laughs> Year later she tried an orange juice which is yellow, you know this. <laughs> Cas casserole is yellow in shape. Now I couldn't taste a ginger ale or orange juice for 30 years. <laughs> and the first world can teach the first world great skills of medical skills. If you don't want your child to be binge, to drink beer and drink and whiskey, fully break and be bingers and drink and get drunk, no. At the age of 10 and 11, feed them casserole with beer. <laughs> <laughs> they won't touch a beer for decades. So I try to remember those days in Guyana where we were young and yellow fellows. Now up here in deep December, I try to remember that yellow, yellow.